Hello and welcome to this web development series. In this series I'm going to be showing you how you can create a dynamic drop down in HTML with MySQL and we're going to be using some PHP scripts and JavaScript to get that data from MySQL into our HTML. So we going what are we going to do exactly? How are we going to achieve this? Well we're going to create a basic web app that allows us or the cust the user to pick a phone, make from a drop down menu, causing a second drop down lower down in the form to populate itself with models of phones made by the brand just selected in the previous drop down. These models will be fetched from a database and returned to the web page via Ajax. So let's let me show you how an example of what we're going to do. This is the end result of our of the series. Basically we'll have a simple form and the user can choose a phone make, so Samsung, Apple, Blackberry or Sony, and when they choose one, the second drop down will update itself with the um with phones made by that company. So Apple, 5S, the iPhones. Blackberry, you can get the Z10, Sony's, your Xperia's, and Samsung's, your Galaxy's. So, as you can see, the we're updating this drop down dynamically, and we're fetching those values from a database. Okay, so we're going to be breaking up this. We're breaking this up into parts. So, our first part will be, guess what it is? The introduction. Yes, you're watching it right now. Um, so this is the introduction. Then we'll our second part will cover the creation of the HTML form. So we'll basically create the HTML form and get it ready to so that we can add JavaScript later on very easily. Then we will create the database and assign privileges to it. We'll create PHP code to connect to the database. We'll create tables inside the database and populate them with data. We'll then fetch the data from the database via PHP. And then we'll finally create a JavaScript script to fetch data via Ajax requests using jQuery and then assign it to the dropdowns in our HTML form. Now, just a note on local web servers. Because we're going to be coding in PHP and MySQL, you're going to need a local web server that supports PHP and MySQL. So, I recommend WAMP. It's You can get it at www.wampserver.com forward slash en. And it's a Windows web development environment. I have been using it for years and I love it. And it works really great. Another alternative for if you don't have Windows is ZAMP, which you can get at www.apachefriends.org forward slash index.html. And that's basically a cross platform local web server which you can also use. Um, I haven't used it much, I've used it once or twice in Linux, but it's also very good. And that's all for this first part. I will, let's move on to the second part. See you now.